Hi, I'm Anya Juan Ansert, and I am the Vice President of our VOA Honor and VOA Home Programs. VOA Honor is all of our Veteran Services programs that we offer here at VOA Mid-States. Veteran Services programs here are split into three distinct programs. Um, the first is our Supportive Services for Veteran Families program. Um, that is a program that is funded by the Department of Veterans Affairs uh, and serves veterans and their families who are either unhoused or at imminent risk of becoming unhoused. The second program that we offer is the Homeless Veterans Reintegration Program, and that is an employment program for veterans and their families who are either uh, unhoused or at imminent risk of becoming unhoused. And currently we have the location in West Virginia. Um, this program is funded through the Department of Labor uh, and offers employment and training support for our veterans. Our newest program is our Suicide Prevention and Moral Injury Program. The majority of that program is funded through the Department of Veterans Affairs through a grant called the Staff Sergeant Fox Grant. Um, it's main goal is to provide awareness and suicide prevention amongst our service members and uh, military families. What is unique about VOA Honor is that we serve all of our locations in VOA Mid-States. So we have offices in Clark and Floyd counties in Indiana, um, all over Kentucky, West Virginia, and then East Tennessee. We are excited about um, being able to expand our services to other locations, um, but we are thankful that we are able to serve the veterans in all of our geographical service areas. VOA Honor would not be able to run without our amazing staff um, within the programs. And our programs consist of our senior director, associate director, uh, and program managers that oversee all of the different programs in our location sites. And then our front care, our frontline workers, our case managers, outreach workers, and intake coordinators that really do the day-to-day -day work to find the veterans, find the resources, and be able to connect um, our clients to what they need. Um, VOA Honor is also very proud of our compliance and quality, um, and we have amazing program support coordinators on staff that ensure that we are able to meet the best practices and the high quality that our funders expect of VOA Mid-States. Hello, my name is Jamila Moore. I served in active army. We were a support unit for the 12 Bravos, which is um, combat engineers. We assisted in demolition so dealing with C4 and um, assisting the Bravos in anything that they needed. When I left, it was a little surreal. I had to adjust to being a civilian all over again, which was kinda fast. The process of getting out was uh, took longer than expected. They usually expect around two weeks, but it took months because it was during COVID and I didn't get to experience the full exit. So I couldn't do the programs that usually prepare your leaves because of COVID. So there were some classes that I couldn't take and some things that were online just didn't suffice the same as I would have in that in-person introduction and all, that, all those types of things. So it was a little um, like a shock after the fact. I was stationed in Texas and at Fort Bliss the twins' dad was deployed at the time, and um, we decided it was going to be best for me to move back on the East Coast because it was closer to family. I traveled here, 34 weeks pregnant with the twins, and uh, I stayed in my car for about a week or two, and um, then I got into the shelter at Unity House. And from there, they um, helped me contact the VOA because I seen some of the stuff. I started the process already, like over the phone, but. Um, actually being somewhere where I could like sit down and think and fill out the paperwork and everything they helped me do that and they started the process on getting me like assistance with food and housing and I was already in school but they helped me with getting supplies for it and everything else like that so having someone here that could give me resources and that was here to actually able to help me in the ways that I needed help, not just a listening ear, it was a big relief. 
Oftentimes when our military personnel are discharged from the military service, they face many challenges uh, transitioning back to civilian life. And Volunteers of America Mid-States has a kind and compassionate staff that work to make sure that we are able to meet the needs of every single veteran that is coming to our service, that we are able to serve those who served and be able to give them the tools and resources to not only help them out of their current crisis, but help them in the future so that they can live happy and whole lives.